I love video games. I love video game media. I love the video game community. However, I do not love Let's Plays. So how do you know when you're close? Uh, the, the compass will get bigger until it, it fills the full circle. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Watching someone play a game is a fuck ton of a lot more fun than playing the game yourself. If you didn't catch the blatantly obvious sarcasm, then I'm amazed how you've made it this far in life. But here's how I see it. Imagine your friend just bought a badass brand new Camaro and he wants to take it out for a spin. So you and he go out to an empty parking lot and he just goes crazy with it. He's doing burnouts, donuts, he's drifting, punching the accelerator, trying to go from zero to 60 in the quickest amount of time. He's having the time of his fucking life. And you're just sitting out there on the curb watching him. Are you having just as much fun as he is? I certainly doubt it. Replace the car with a video game and post it up on the internet and you've essentially got the exact similar experience as a Let's Play. Look, if you like these kinds of videos, that's fine. They are by no means the worst videos on the internet. But to me, I just don't have the time, the patience, or the interest to dedicate myself to the ever-increasing ocean of Let's Plays videos when in all likelihood I can just play the game myself. I should clarify that I am not at all against uploading video game related videos on the internet. In fact, it's quite the opposite. I like videos with a specific purpose to them, such as a professional review of the game, showing up a quick preview of an upcoming title, how to solve tricky puzzles, how to beat a difficult boss, how to obtain certain items, how to reveal a certain easter egg, how to unlock bonus items, showing up impressive moves or accomplishments in the game, countdown lists, professionally made rants, exploiting glitches, showing up cheats or secrets. You know, pretty much anything other than a let's play. Now some people say that they watch Let's Plays to check out a game that they want that they can't afford yet. Okay, that's a decent argument, but let me point out that people who want the game but can't afford it are probably more than perfectly able to check out the kinds of videos that I listed above. Like a review or a preview of sorts. They'd be informed, they'd be excited, and they would have saved themselves a substantial amount of time by watching these videos other than watching a complete stranger casually playing it for multiple, multiple, multiple installments for sometimes hours on end. And plus, if you are watching someone play the game that you want to play so bad, but you can't play it yourself, wouldn't that kind of sully the experience for you? I know it would for me. And that's another issue I have with Let's Play videos. These videos can be extremely, extremely long. I think some of them can be up to like three hours in length. Some of them are about 10 minutes long, but there are like 80 different continuous installments of the whole thing. I mean, who would want to dedicate themselves to watching that much gameplay video and someone simply just trying to make witty commentary over it? I mean, who in the right mind would just want to watch a complete stranger on the internet talk about stuff? <sighs> Don't they have anything else better to do? Others say that they like the commentary, and again, that's fair enough. It's obvious that these Let's Players are having a ton of fun playing these games. They joke, they trash talk, and admittedly, some of their conversations are actually kind of interesting from the ones that I've seen. But again, it's still a matter of time and patience, again, alluding to their videos sometimes being extremely long. What it all boils down to is that you're essentially watching a video of a group of friends hanging out and having a good time. And again, if you like these kinds of videos, that's perfectly fine with me. But I'm sure that one of you, that a lot of you have at least one friend. One friend to come over, hang out, and essentially do the same thing that the Let's Players are doing. Having fun. One thing I find humorous is that whenever parents were lecturing their kids about playing video games all day, that they were afraid that they would turn into a bum and live in their basement with no job just playing all day. Well, thanks to the internet, People can make a living playing video games all day. I'm serious, just go on YouTube and look at all the Let's Play videos and see how many views they're getting. There's some serious money to be made here, and everyone's getting on the bandwagon. So, what's my issue with that, huh? Well, there isn't really any. I'm all for making money for doing what you love doing, and people love gaming. But personally, I could I wouldn't be able to do a Let's Play video for two reasons. One, to me, it would 
it would just be too damn easy. I mean, I feel like I wouldn't be earning the views and the subscribers and the money that came with it. I feel like I, I want to do a good job in making my videos with a decent amount of work put into it so I can earn my keep. As Psychic Pebbles once put it, I would rather get paid to work and not work to get paid. The second reason is that even if I wanted to do a Let's Play video, I would be absolutely awful at it. Now let me explain this through visual dramatization. Here is your typical Let's Play video. So I took my dog out for a walk and I tried to make it go potty, but for some reason it couldn't. It couldn't just go number two. Maybe I fed him too much fiber in his diet or anything just like that. Anyway, my dog is a little brown dachshund. Now, here is your popular Let's Play video. Now prepare to get your plate on. Yeah! Yeah! Now it's going to now. Oh, it's so big and strong. And it's so awesome for me to kind of... Oh, no, Dad. Oh, no, Dad. Oh, no, no, no. How do I get up there? How do I get over there? How do I get I don't know what to do. Man, this, this is really confusing. Uh, uh, wait, where am I now? Where am I now? Uh, wait, wait, what? What's happening? I'm not done that. I'll be a little scared. I'll that. Let's play video. See how I did absolutely nothing during that clip? That's how I play games. I've already said once before that outside of these videos on YouTube, I'm a relatively quiet person. I don't try to make constant witty remarks and commentary throughout the game other than the occasional appropriate reaction. I just sit back, relax, shut the hell up, and absorb myself into the world of wonder that these developers work so hard to create. Now whenever I'm playing with friends, that's a different story, but again, that's hanging out. Plus, I'm pretty sure my friends would be uncomfortable with me taping our session. But I digress. I won't do Let's Plays because it requires that I don't play games in the way that I would prefer to play them, but that's not to say I won't do anything game related. I love video games just as much as the next guy. I may do a rant in a particular title or a franchise, and I definitely want to do a game related countdown similar to the ones that the Autark of Flame and Josh Scorcher make. And who knows? I may just want to do a straightforward review of a game in the future. But Let's Plays, they are just not my cup of tea. And here is where we come full circle. I'm PM Rants. These are my gamer tags. If you want to play me in competitive mode, your victory is all but assured. If you want to play me in co-op, our defeat is all but assured. Because I think I suck at video games. Thank you, everyone. He is the most pretentious man in the world. I don't drink beer, period. I prefer to be civilized and have a nice, fancy glass of Pinot Noir. Wow, Muffin, you suck.